So I have my first horse riding lesson in half an hour and I've just realised I don't know what to wear and I don't even think I have the right shoes. So I'm freaking out. Let's get dressed. So this is the outfit that I've ended up with. It's just a white sleeve, long sleeve top. And I've worn the same gym jacket I was wearing before over, the same gym leggings, and then some long Zara boots. My best friend Nat told me to wear something that has a bit more grip. And I genuinely haven't been horse riding since I was 12. So yeah, I can't remember what I wore when I was 12. I probably owned wellies, which I don't anymore. Um, but yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get. It is the second night of my night shifts and tonight I'm going to try and maybe film some more content for you guys to get an idea of what I get up to. It's still daylight because it is 7.50pm and we are in, is it daylight? Not daylight saving hours, summer, summer hours? I don't know what we call it but essentially it's still bright out which is nice and when I come and go to work it's bright which is nice. I'm excited to show you guys a bit more of what I get up to, like obviously as much as I can do. So we've just done the ward round for labour ward and there is currently no ladies who are actively labouring that require any intervention from us. Um, so now that's completed, there's no one waiting for us in A&E to review from like the gynae perspective of things and all the gynae patients who are currently inpatients on the ward are stable. So I have some time to sit down and I'm going to do some portfolio work because my ARCP is due so that's essentially something that we need to do every year to show that we're up to date with our training and progressing so that I can go into my next year of training. Um, OBS and Gynae in the UK is seven years and I'm in my first year. Um, I have to have my portfolio ready by mid-May but I go into my next year in October so you have to have your portfolio ready by like essentially eight months which is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. So I'm just going to, I've done everything that I need. I just want to go over my portfolio and just make sure that I'm happy with it um, before organizing like a meeting with my supervisor. But I'll keep you guys posted if anything else I'm going to do. So I've just been bleeped to come and review one of our postnatal patients. So that's what I'm about to do. It's almost 4 a.m. And I'm going back to the patient I reviewed because they have an abnormal blood pressure again. So I have to prescribe them something. Um, but yeah, otherwise the night shift is pretty chill tonight, which is why I look like this. We just sat out in the garden because the weather is so nice and we're gonna have some sushi. I have to eat quickly because the weather is so hot that honestly the sushi will go off in the next 20 minutes. Um, so let's do it. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's my week off and weather in London is something else. It is actually beautiful. Um, it's currently 9 a.m., 9.20, and I'm going to go to the gym before my horse riding lesson at 11.15 today. I'm really excited. And then after that, I'm going with one of my friends to an appointment as like a moral support. Um, so yeah, it's a kind of like a busy morning and then hopefully in the afternoon it's gonna be more chilled and I can enjoy the sunshine. Let's enjoy my day off together. Um, it's kind of cool how you guys go from seeing me on nights running about to 
kind of enjoying your day off too. Um, yesterday on my day off, I did a lot of admin, building up my portfolio before my sign off and doing some revision for my exam. So yeah, today is a bit more of a chilled one. She's gonna I'm watch so me. excited. I love <laughs> watching her. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna watch me have my horse riding lesson. I'm really excited. I've got the same instructor this week, Laura. Hello. <laughs> Oh wow! School game. My goal is by like the fifth lesson to get my mum to touch him. Animals, aren't yes. they? Yes. Mum, look, I'm holding her. Be that, that's Bazaar. He's a heat. Sorry, <laughs> I'm holding him. Yeah? I can. Come. Hold my hand. Hold, hold my hand. Forget Just a quick touch and run away. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Good morning. This week actually flew by depressingly. Like, I feel like I could do with another two weeks like this because it's already Friday and I've woken up. It's 8 40 and I'm going to Pilates. I have a class at 9 15, but I want to get there like 15 minutes earlier and just stretch on the reformer before the class starts. That's my plan for the morning. And then I'm gonna grab my swimming costume and sit outside in the outdoor pool of my gym and sunbathe because honestly, this heat wave has made me so nostalgic of Iran. I don't know what it is about waking up and I think it's probably because it just reminds me of my childhood where I would wake up and it is sunny outside and it's really early so it's still cool and it just reminds me of when i was little and i would be in mashhad and yeah i would wake up early and sometimes i would go for breakfast um for calipacha but otherwise not usually because my family like my sisters when they were younger were not like the early riser types um especially not Sina and I really like took after Sina growing up because she was the middle child and I would copy her so much so I would sleep in if she slept in or whatever but yeah Sol was more of I guess an early riser but she would sleep in on summer holidays I don't know but anyway those mornings that we would wake up early it would remind me of this where it's sunny outside look at this not that you could see outside that well because my curtain was covering it. My gym set is also quite summery. Let me show you guys. I literally, I bought this set 
like 10 years ago maybe from Forever 21. This is how long it is, it's like three quarters. And I love it, it's lasted me and it's really cute and summery and there's like pink marble color. So after I've sunbathed and done some work, I'm gonna go see my friend Celia. I've missed her and I wanna hang out with her uh, and enjoy the sunshine and maybe some rosé. And then in the evening, I'm gonna go see my other best friend Talia and we are gonna again hang out and enjoy the early evening sun and take in the weather. I don't know where we're going tonight, but I said I wanna go to 180 The Strand because it's got like an outdoor pool area and I think it would just be cool to chill around the pool. Uh, this afternoon, I'm guessing Celia and I will probably go to like Primrose Hill and sit and have like some sushi and wine or something, I don't know. All I know is that I'm gonna enjoy this weather and enjoy my day off because I deserve it. <laughs> this is my last workout of the week, you guys. I worked out every single day, today is Friday, and I worked out on Sunday as well in the middle of my nights and my body is in agony. And I know that summer is coming, but do I need to try this hard? No, I've been working out. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just need to like get on top of my diet to make sure that I'm eating the cleanest because that is when my body looks the nicest in my opinion. As soon as I start eating rubbish, which tends to happen around my periods when I like literally during my periods, not the start or uh, like the end of my periods, I always start to crave like either large amounts of food or really unhealthy food. And I feel like it must be like the estrogen effect I don't know. I'm gonna quiz my consultants about it. I found the brush I was looking for. Okay, I will show you guys when I'm ready to go. So final hair is a braided pony, just to make it like get out of the way when I'm working out. And this is my final makeup. It's very pinky and lots of blush and no powder because I can't in this heat. Anyway, let's go to the gym. So I've finished my workout and I'm sat in the outdoor area of my gym. I need to stop touching the table so the camera doesn't shake. Um, and I'm just gonna do some work. It's so sunny and beautiful out. And this has been my favorite thing to do for the past like two, three days is come and sit outside here and just do my work. I've also got my bikini and some suntan lotion. So when it gets a little bit warmer, cause it's only like 10.40. So maybe at like 11.30, I'm gonna go out and sunbathe for an hour and just soak up some vitamin D because we rarely get it in London and I've already heard that it's raining next week. Oh, my keys have stopped jingling. My workout is done, sunbathing done. I did some work, which you guys saw as well. And now I'm gonna go and get dressed at home to go for lunch with Celia. I think we'll probably hang out in Primrose Hill. Um, oh, there's a pile up to get out of the car park. Um, yeah, we're gonna probably have something to eat in Primrose Hill, just sit up. Um, in the park, at the top of the park maybe, or just one of the restaurants around there because it's such beautiful vibes. And then later in the evening, Tali and I are gonna go for some drinks. So yeah, it's gonna be me and my girls kind of day. And I'm really excited to just enjoy this UK sunshine, which is so rare. And also my sunglasses are on my head because my hair was tied up, so now it like is in a weird shape. So if I move the sunglasses, my hair just looks weird. her jeans guys I'm getting these jeans myself <laughs> I have literally been craving a frozen yogurt for the longest time 
and there's only one place in Mill Hill that has it, that's in North London. So I've literally come to get Froyo. Cure the goods. Very nice. <laughs> 